I believe this is a, a two thousand dollar best of one here as the teams are playing. There are no eliminations at stake here, but still money on the line. And uh, we see both teams smoking out here. Uh, deep smoke by C Dub playing up towards the tier one tower. We might see an engagement here. Ooh, if they can ramp behind, this could be Maybe. a $2,000 first blood. Could be. I feel like I just want to emphasize every play with that. Everything is a $2,000, you know? It's like, <laughs> if you were a TI, then you get million dollar things. Here you get the you get the $2,000 first blood. That's still a good payment for a first blood, dude. Yeah, $2,000 first blood minus taxes and uh, fees. Hey, if I got $2,000 so. for every first blood I was a part of, especially the ones where I died, I would be rich. If you, it's only ones that I got, I don't they, think I'd have any. They smoke again. Second smoke here. And that's actually breaking because they've messed up. <laughs> BSJ walked into Vision <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, they attempted to go for the Quelling Blade cut and smoking through. But it's a very specific uh, path that you have to take when you do this. So they get spotted. Bit awkward. Two smokes used for them and uh, not really going to get anything for it. Two bounty runes. Definitely value. 2,000 bounty runes. Oh, hook. Sonic lands it. Duster. Get a two-man decay, but the shackle connects, and they are around this undying. They should get first blood and will. Monkey so, Forever gets it, and he's playing as a Windrunner. Yeah, is this, I was just is seeing this that. Monkeys? This doesn't feel like monkeys to me. Not playing at a disgusting microhero. This seems like one of those combos that gets found at the end of the patch, right? Like sleeping dart into shackle shot. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of neat, but Monkeys is also a silver tier on this hero. This, this, uh -oh. is, not, this is not his main proficiency here, so we'll see how, how well he can perform. But that first blood is going to help him a bit. See, now, how much... I, I need to know for sure. How much does that really matter, the tier of what level hero you are? Because I've heard that there are ways to spoof it. Uh, there are, but not for silver tier. So if you're bronze tier, then that could just mean that you're like a mega spammer, but you never bought Dota Plus. Then bronze is the highest you can get, right? So bronze right. tier could be as scary as a grandmaster. But a silver, I'm never scared if I see a silver tier, man. That means that that, that player has not played that hero that much. Damn. All right. Well, I need to start working on some heroes. <laughs> or just unsubscribe Dota Plus. And have that you. might help more. Does that, do, do my heroes go back down from, like, whatever they are? Please please don't fire me, Gabe. <laughs> uh, well, only losing my subscription, even though I have mine forever, pretty much. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, I Gotta keep those. it for that Dota Plus. Gotta go for those yearly resubs, you know, cheaper. I keep it just for the the percentages in these games, so I get to see the uh, the win percentage. Isn't that a Dota Plus only thing? Um, yeah, I think so. Or yeah, so. is it? Yeah. So I have to keep it. Actually, I don't know when you're spectating. Is it spectating? I think you always see it. Oh. Well, that might not be great. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm <laughs> keeping my subscription. Are, are you paying for nothing? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I'm paying so I can have platinum on one hero. That's what I'm really paying for. And it's Ancient Apparition. Again. So, Double King, by the way, on this Marcy. We've seen Marcy's kind of go off, especially once they hit that Unleash moment. Makes me worry about these heroes on the side of Fort Studios, but how deadly is this Marcy going to be against this lineup? I think Quite deadly. I think it's a pretty nice pick here. Overall, the C Dub lineup looks disgusting to team fight into later on as well. I think they have so many combos uh, that they can set up. Whereas the side of Fart Studios, mm, it's a bit trickier. You're running four melee heroes and a Windrunner. Windrunner not really known to be great in the current patch as well. I think there will come a point where just Arena gets dropped down, Marcy jumps in, Lesh goes in, and you gotta be very creative with how you respond to that. I'm trying to think about what the build is here for an offlane windrunner. Could tell oh. Kinesis into the spear, Sonic Punch in some trouble, trouble and yeah. will die. Gonna get brought down. We saw the combo, the Rubik and the Mars, the lift, the spear back, the God Tribuke to slow him down, as well as the Fade Bolt for extra damage there. Yeah, just uh, easy kills on this five pudge. I'm a big fan of one pudge. One pudge, yeah. man. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. He goes mid. Kind of miss out on the hook, though. Gets a tip oh, and from get Mark. Tipped. That's my guy Mark right there, giving those tips out. Yeah, important play. Meanwhile, Monkeys gets a curry snipe bottom. Going to pay with his life for it as Double King connects with his rebound off the Undying. Yeah, that's not feeling great. 
Right now, they do have a, a little bit of a net worth lead. Meanwhile, you uh, getting uh, chased by Sonic, but I don't know if he really wants to be there anymore on this pudge. Not really accomplishing much at the moment. It's like, oh, okay, I threw a hook. That's it. I like FSJ, he's just trying to farm. That's it. I feel like this can quickly go into the average pub pudge experience, like just walking around looking for hooks here and there. But, you know, uh, I, I'm not a fan of support pudge, I have to admit. It's not the best. It will be good when he gets to the point of having shard, if he can get that. He's got connect a nice hook here onto Sanctified, though. Feels like it's just telekinesis, throw at the yeah. life stealer, and then walk away, right? Yeah, you can still just walk away. The hook was nice, though. I was trying to give some some credit here. <laughs> hook percentages. He's keeping them up. Uh, well, yeah, he, he's recovering, I would say, on that one. Mm, rebound and silence with the dispose on a monkey's forever. Soul rip used by Duster drops down the tombstone. And looking for the shackle shot, the power shot, and the kill, but won't get it on a Duster. So now it's just Nushim. Just trying to get a tombstone and probably run away. And that's a second death with uh, very little time in between there for Windrunner as well. She will have TP ready when she comes back. She left just enough time between the feeds for that. But that's pretty painful. The Marcy is pretty much free farming down here. And meanwhile, looking at the CS for Windrunner, 9-0 versus 26-9 on the Marcy. This lane is not going well. And it's not even just that. It's also 21 and 3 for Ela on the Mars. Like, he's getting farm in his off lane. Like, that feels great for him. Yeah, uh, I think there are a lot of issues here for Fart Studios in this game so far. So, I Annihilate, he's got one level in the Searing Chains. Stun lands onto this Pudge, and they'll have the power shot. They'll get the kill. They'll take out Mark. It forces two heroes here, and one of them is not a support. I like the move by Monkeys Forever. He's recognizing bottom lane is terrible. Let's just try and make a move mid before I go back bottom. So goes mid, gets that shackle, helps out get the kill, and uh, you know, at least having some positive impact. I mean, we'll see Pudge running at Sanctified, but he has boots. And, uh, maybe he's gonna he go down actually. Ember comes get gold. this kill. He's got the remnant forward, like he is level six. So Sanctified will fall to I and Ila, and that's finally really a hook making the play happen. That kill over mid wasn't really the hook's doing, but overall, getting that kill, again, it's moving I Annihilate further and further up the, the chart. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, sanctified, just getting a bit cocky there on Rubik. He stuck around longer than he needed to after he lifted the punch. He had a lot, uh, a lot of time to just run away, but uh, stuck around and got punished for it. Top there getting some damage to the tower. Lifesteer was tanking for a long time, holding the catapult alive here. So, if you're Fort Studios, like, there's going to become a point where Double King hits six, and you kind of got to fear this Marcy. It's very, very soon as well. She is just about to get that pop. But uh, you have Windrun at least on this lane for Windrunner, so she can stay safe. Question is if Ricky is not in danger, though. Level six is coming up in Theoretically one. Theoretically, could Blink Strike. He's one experience away. <laughs> There it is. So there's the unleash. I wonder if he goes to any other lanes to kind of unleash on these heroes, because I don't know if Windrunner and Ricky are the easiest two to get. He's going to stay down here. He, he's going to sit here and he's going to farm. He wants to go Battle Fury, so he, he's just going to stay here and farm similarly to what we saw him do in the Wraith King game, is what I'm expecting. He's playing very aggressively now, though, and he's 1v2. Hmm. Trying to be aggressive. Meanwhile, top lane, it's yeah, they were infested for a long time in that uh, creep. Slide of Fist, Searing Chains, and nothing doing. Nice hook, hook lands, And they catch the Lashrak for a second, but there's no uh, follow-up to that. I'm dying, Searing though. Chains, Undying, Duster, getting run down, Fade Bolt, Telekinesis, and a Remnant the other way. He needs to get out of this one because the Lashrak was... Doing some damage and tricks of the trade onto the low ground. The so, zombies are chasing them. They're so fast. Chasing, 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 and right clicking as eventually he'll fall to Sanctified. Oh, nice hook, hook. this time, and he's now landing in Duster. Can he finally Maybe. die? No, no, stun lands on Sonic. Oh, God. The hooks just aren't getting kills, and there's Arena bottom to kill off monkeys forever. 
Yeah, Arena, very good for catching and killing off that Windrunner. That is uh, no way out, I'm afraid, for him. And gonna be a little bit of a boost to uh, Elos farm here as well. He didn't really want to stay top because of a lifestealer, but the move he made bottom means the top is being pressured now by far SJ. And he's still doing well in the net worth, and so is I Annihilate, but w <sighs> Monkeys Forever has no game at the moment, and I guess Nushim kind of does. Like, that's not the worst thing in the world for him to have a little bit more farm, especially when you want to get that shard ASAP. Yeah. One thing I want to po uh, point out, by the way, is that this Sonic Pudge that we see walking around everywhere looking for hooks, he's playing on 131 ping. Because oh, he's not playing from the US. He's playing from Russia, right? I believe. So <laughs> it's not really the best thing in the world to be playing on that high ping mid. Oh, Jump oh, in bottom and Shackle doesn't connect on anything. Annihilate going for a solo kill mid. Almost oh, gets it. Oh, gosh. Almost gets killed as well. Yeah, he was almost dead as they had the Mars ready to go. But he farmed the tombstone. Killed the tombstone, got a lot of gold for that. So pushing himself to a limit, forcing two heroes to come there. And he ended up getting the bounty from the tombstone and getting out. So nice play by him. Meanwhile, Far SJ again working on that top tower as a lot of distractions are happening bottom. Dispose, blink strike into silence as Marcy's trying to get a kill here. Doesn't activate the unleash, but now sidekick unleash, tricks of the trade gets away. That's what makes this difficult, but when he's able to rebound, that works out for him. So monkeys. Double in king. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 hook. The hook. oh, the hook might save him. He he was safe already, but the hook definitely gets him away enough and under the tower. Yeah, Annihilate can get out of that situation as well. Nice use of a slide of fist and then sending the remnant while he's slide of fisting to get out even quicker there, keeping himself safe. Mars getting out as well before Nushem shows up with his uh, blink strikes. So he's going to need 900 more gold to get to this shard, and he's got some time. And finally, top tower looks like it's going to go down most likely as Forrester is getting a little bit scared though backing out now not feeling confident to stick around so maybe a tower can be saved disposing it back stop catapult oh uh, one you more. can't stop it oh yeah they got the tower after all that work yeah they ping it out good job catapult and they're gonna smoke so they want to go for the marcy she TP top, so she has no way out. Um, all they need to do is just get up there, and they know that she can't get away. Mm, I don't know. Rebound's always one of those weird spells, but Slide of Fist Searing Chains with the Silence should mean the Marcy is dead. And they will get Double King. That's the biggest kill to get on the map at the moment for Arena the side of Fart Studios. Monkeys. He's going to get out fine, though, I think. Oh. It's always the one in the back. <laughs> yep. Guy in the back's fault when you get shackled. Somehow when I play with Sing Sing, he started saying that it's the guy in the front's fault when, you know, he was the one in the back. I don't know how that <laughs> works. I believe he was the one starting the whole guy in the back thing, and then he switch rooted on me when it was the other way around. Is that where that originated? My friends say that. I guess they did also I watch so. Sing Sing. I think so, yeah. He he started, I mean, Sing Sing is the originator for a lot of these <laughs> random, random uh, things. It is always the one in the back, though. I yeah. still get that yelled at me from time to time. I mean, when Windrunner is more uh, played, if, especially. <laughs> it really feels like that, at least. Invis rune on Lesh here means they can go in and maybe find initiation. Mm, splitting well, but he's going to be under a sentry if he walks up any further. Mm, he's not spotted yet. Lesh Rack could maybe stun this lifestealer. But Undying is being seen right now. He's standing under a ward, so this is really awkward. It's telegraphing what's going on. Yeah. That's what's kind of ruining it. The guy this the is all allowing the FSJ to get a lot of farm. Meanwhile, Double King over mid, he popped the... S he did pop Unleash recently. Yeah, they're just trying to fight. It's mostly Annihilate just Dispose. creating space here. Level 10, Searing Chain, Sidekick, Slide of Fist. I Annihilate's doing some damage, but he needs to get out of dodge. Especially with Sanctified coming around. 
This is very reminiscent of watching like RCY and how he played this uh, Pango and his Ember, just really going in deep, being super annoying, and then last second just getting out. It forces so much reaction, and you win a lot of space and time for your team. So I'm really a big fan of the moves that Iron Highlight is doing right there. Armor went back in the Midas for Fart SJ. Always Midas. Yeah, the Midas is uh Duster, I mean, it's, it's a bit on the greedier side. And Double King coming over. I Annihilate. This might be a problem. Into the rebound with the telekinesis. Oh gosh, I Annihilate, how? Still gonna how be has safe. he done this? But his friend Nusham, who yeah. bailed him out, is not gonna He's have very the dead. same fortune. Oh, this haste rune on Lesh. Oh, Monkeys just rebound. Dead. I annihilate. Gotta watch out as they get the kill on the monkeys forever. But another remnant away. Yeah, he's gonna stay fine. But we saw that haste run on Lesh and how impactful it can be. Very difficult to stay alive against that. Windrun, you kind of rely on being the fastest player on the field. And when you're no longer the fastest, then you kind of just die. There's that Midas for Fart SJ. He's farming up a storm right now. Like Midas, face boots, armlets, 600 gold at minute 15. He is going to be massive this game. And if he gets enough farm, then he could get to the point where Marcy can't actually man fight him. Marcy still doesn't have her battle fury, which is just her farming item. It will take her a while before she gets to the point of winning man fights against Lifesteer. And he's queuing up a Radiance. Are we going Radiance here? Interesting. I'm here for it. It's not bad. It's not bad. You actually get some nice, you know, mischance and evasion against Marcy. It's uh, also something you could disassemble later on to get the null fire in the late game. By the way, Shard is flying out. Silence, and they've got the tombstone. Mark's going to have to try and make something happen, but here is the sweeping dart picked up, and Mark's going to fall. They bring over Sanctify. They've got you with the blink as well as the arena. They land the spirits on FSJ and they should be able to get the kill. So it ends up being a trade two for one. If that sweeping dart was there just a little bit sooner. Maybe they were able to get more out of that. Yeah. Oh, Shackle, Shackle lands and they get the kill on a double king. The damage from Monkeys Forever is enough. And they've got the sweeping dart with the silence onto this undying. So Duster, he'll fall too. Yeah, they're coming in mid, but they don't have arena. They do have blink spear but kind of dangerous to fight into this now when you lost three heroes already. This is double Maelstrom, by the way, for the side of uh, Fart Studios, both the Ember and the uh, Windrunner. Yeah, a lot of damage. Sweeping Dart. Into Hook. Into Hook. He does not have Arena, and they will dust up Nusham. Oh, Spear. On the Bannister of the Steps. Stolen Power <laughs> Shot, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, just level 3 power shot, but it's already so much damage on level 3. It's not a lot of nukes that are 350 damage on level 3 already. It sounds more like a level 4 spell at that point. So uh, definitely a nice steal for him to have on Sanctified. Yeah, I love picking that up on the Rubik. Yeah, it feels like it does so much damage, especially once it's level 4 and then uh, just got that boost coming in. Yeah, you already the, have uh, Arcane 20... Supremacy. Yeah, I already have 22% spell amp, so I mean, that's a very potent nuke. Sitting back, ready to protect as Leshrak is pushing. Tombstone committed. This tower more edict should bring down this tower. There's the edict, and the tower's in trouble. They don't have a glyph, but they do have the blink in the arena, and they're going to go right after this Windrunner. And Monkey's Forever able to get out, but I don't know if is going to be so fortunate. He's already dusted, but gets away from the stun. Yeah. Doing a good job just playing around here, and they have a hook onto the Mars here. Have the hook. Do they have the damage? With the dismember, they've got the control, so they get the kill on the Elo, and now they're gonna look over at Duster. He's silenced thanks to the smoke screen of Nusham, and that's without the level 10 talent. Like, that looked big, that smoke screen, as it's gonna only get bigger when he picks up the, the extra 60 radius. Oh, another, another sleep, catch. and does this mean another hook? Yes, it does, and that means another kill. I see, this is the solution. If you have 140 ping on your Pudge, then all you gotta have is the constant spam of Sleep Dart. It doesn't matter what ping you have, you can just connect. In all honesty though, that was a nice uh, hook because he didn't really connect it during the Sleep Dart, he connected right after by hooking above him. So he is doing a good job as well, but 
that was a big outplay by uh, Fart Studios. They kind of just 3 v 5 that for a long time, and then later on brought in the Lifestealer as well. And C-Dub losing a bit of ground here. Yeah, all of a sudden it's a 4,000 net worth lead, and, and Fart SJ with that Midas, he's built into the Deso. He is super duper farmed. Yeah, he's uh, probably going to be happy to just infest Bomb now. He has so many good vehicles in his team. You can infest into the Ember, the Ricky, oh, Ember. Gonna go down top, I think. Yeah, gets caught out as this is a smoke move from C Dub. But is it one that Fart Studios is gonna respond with by going top two? I, I don't think so. Uh, feels like they're just gonna farm. They want that BKB on the Windrunner. Maybe they will go top because they are really farmed, but losing the Ember makes it a bit difficult to go there. And yeah, that tower went down fast too. Yeah, it's a rough spot to take the fights. And uh, you can see the value of that sidekick, by the way, on Marcy. When she sidekicks the Mars, then the God's Rebuke does a lot of damage. Marcy with the battle fury going into the BKB, so we'll have a little bit more freedom. Nushan, look at where he's standing right now. He is just being a pain in the ass. And does he have a ward? No, he doesn't. I think the idea was he kind of want to wants to put one down on the high ground. Yeah, he's just providing a lot of vision and uh, you know doing doing what Ricky's do, just being obnoxious and forcing out a lot of sentries randomly placed. Not really a lot on their side of the map though. Like there's a lot of sentries on the dire side of the map. Yeah, very forward. But there's no sentries on their side of the map. Yeah, so they they kind of need to stay aggressive. Ela trying to jump and find something there, but Ember is not going to go close to that. He is going to go close to the Undying, though. Yeah, and get a kill on a Duster for free. Oh, my God. Duster dies so fast to Ember. Sweeping Dart that's on the high ground onto the Marcy. Sonic hit with the Telekinesis, though, so they stole in the Rot. The Silence is onto the Marcy once again, so Double King needs to be careful. And again, this is like, hey, we need sentries on our side of the map. Yeah, for sure. I mean, any of these sleep darts could lead into a hook if he's close enough. We're going to see bottom another lane. one right there. This one will connect. They've got a hook mid while bottom lane Monkeys Forever is in trouble. He's going to try and escape from the damage, but they've got more than enough with Ela. And while that's happening, Sanctified's going to die to Sonic. They'll bring in Duster, but again, a sleep on a double king. This Ricky's doing so much work. Fortis J is right here. Yeah, he's, he's looking for a chance to take the fight here, Forrest J. He's going for the Halberd, by the way, after the Deso now. Super good item against Marcy. Definitely an they ideal pickup. on the Radiance. I'm sad. Yeah, maybe maybe another time. Next this game. Is the, this is the, no, this is the last game of the tour. <laughs> well, you don't lie to me. <laughs> this It'll is the last next game. game B don't this worry. This is an infinite tiebreakers. This was four teams tiebreaking. <laughs> Yeah, I've already I'm went through that once. There, there's no real risk. Why not go for it? But he's going for a very, very ideal build. I approve it. It's efficient for this game. And uh, he's going to scale really hard. He's going to go Assault Keras after he finishes the Halberd. And he'll be an unstoppable force. Hila? Hila? Going to get slept, perhaps? Yeah, he thought about walking forward and potentially going to that Blink Arena. However, it's on I and I. Like, you got to assume that he's got a remnant to go back to. Yeah. It's always always rough to jump onto someone who can just press one button and react to get out again. And there's that remnant sitting behind him. Blink dagger for the pudge. Slide of fist searing chains. Oh, spear missing. He is going to be in trouble because now he's slept up. BKB pop by I annihilate. Four heroes are going to be here. Marks over to the side with the tombstone down. And they don't have Fortis J, so doing this damage or at least trying to is a bit of an issue as they'll rebound on top of Nushim, and he was just out of the range of that sentry. So that so BKB close. usage doesn't really get them anything from I Annihilate. I was extremely close to getting the Mars, but Hook. does not get him. Duster, Duster, though. He is gonna die eventually here, or at least you would assume so, as he gets slept up with the rebound. All right, as he pops out of the infest, they'll get Nushim, so no more sleeping dart. Duster does die, but. At the end of the day, that kind of worked for C-Dub with how hesitant Fart Studios were. Yeah, I think that was 
pretty good fight for them, uh, especially the reaction to go there when the combo was used on the Undying. You don't want to just wait and say, oh, we lost one hero, sit back and do nothing. No, use the fact the Sleep Dart was just committed and the hook. These spells were wasted, so they go in, take the fight, and they punish. The Ricky died super fast. You can see the damage of this carry Marcy. She is a hero that, for the amount of items that she has, she does insane damage during the ulti. Oh, no, Lesh. Mark. Yeah, there's that new blink. There's the dismember and the damage to get the kill there. Mark getting caught out. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of damage coming in from the focus fire as well as the desolator lifestealer. And this could be a chance to go Roche with Lesh dead for 40. Scan connects. Sleeping dart, hook, and duster is going to be hooked into a silence. So, so dirty. can't even drop a tombstone or anything. This this uh, one fair. two support combo is doing so much work. It's already got seven stacks on the flesh heap as well, and it's only level one. Yeah, with that second kill, that solidifies that they're going to get the Roche and uh, C Dub. They are smoking over. I don't think they're in time though. This Desolator is pretty good at taking down Roche quickly. You gotta hope that they're not in time, because I think going for this 3v5 is a bit ambitious. Now they're actually really close to where this smoke comes off from the side of Fart Studios. Telekinesis, Spear, it connects, but do they have enough? No, the hook's gonna get him away. The arena's gonna be placed down, but it's not gonna be enough with the BKBB pop by Monkeys Forever. So Sanctified drops. The Rubik gone. These heroes on the side of c -Dub are already low. They'll take out Iwa, the Unleashed, not doing enough damage. They have that disposed, but into the side of Fist Duster falls. Monkeys Forever does die to Mark, but Mark will die at the end, and so will Double King. It's a full team wipe for Fart Studios. That was so much damage done by the Ember in that fight. He just popped off 6,100 6, wow. damage. Uh, if you look at the numbers over on the side of CW, you can tell that nobody really was allowed to play Dota there. Uh, you know, 100 damage, 300 damage, 500 damage. They just could not click the buttons. Uh, and a lot of it comes back to the magic immunity. You got that BKB ready on the Windrunner, Rage ready on the Lifestealer, and they just take the fights very quickly with that. As of course the uh, peak be on the ember as well. So just every single core is magic immune. That makes Leshrac lo look very, uh, very useless, honestly, in that fight. Saving Nushim there with the hook. And uh, these heroes are just, they're, not, they're in the arena from their own teammate, but it feels like they're so close that things are starting to really rack up on them in terms of damage, especially coming out from I Annihilate. Yeah, nice hook to finish off the Leshrac there at the end as well. But after this, they took the top tower, top tier two towers taken by Fart SJ, and uh, the Ancients area is now controlled fully by Fart Studios. 13,000 gold lead and building. Seed up, kind of struggling to get back into this game. Their draft looked nice, but this support combo has really been the story of the game, dominating the game so hard around that Ricky shard. And yeah. it makes me wonder. Why have we not seen more Ricky in NADPC? In EU, I feel like Ricky is really highly rated and very popular of a hero. That shard is always looking so busted. But here in NADPC, is this like one of the only games that I've seen the Ricky, I think? Yeah, it hasn't really shown up much, but I know at the end of Division 1, I, I want to say that when teams were picking Ricky, they were starting to find ways to deal with it with like Legion as well as Abaddon or mm -hmm. even the Oracle. So I wonder if like NAD of two saw that and was like, all right, well, let's put this hero on the back burner just because like it can be beat that combination with the, the sleeping dart and just being able to wake up these heroes. But I'm not really sure. Like this combo still feels very strong. Yeah, you don't have to pick it like first face Ricky, like first pick as well. It's just when you see the enemy supports, you leave very few options for the enemy to react. You can't really pick that support uh, support Abaddon or Oracle if you already committed to a lot of these popular Treant or Rubik's or whatever. Yeah, three picks, three wins. Yeah, there we go. Undefeated. So smoke's going to be broken as they're coming up the steps, but they've got the rage. The tombstone's down, and there's the sleeping dart to start. They baited they're going to the infest. Tombstone. So biggest commitment there was the tombstone. Then a disengage, infest, now possibly a wraparound. <laughs> they're going back to where they have issues. 
vision. Look at their vision on this triangle. Man, this is like overkill. They have some insane sentries, three observer wards. This is like, they have a full on security system on this. Yeah, meanwhile, I know he's got Ags coming out. You've got Fortis J who's got just about 20k net worth. And CW are going to sit in the other triangle too. Yeah. And uh, the rotation here by Ember just diving uh, into everything. Uh, yeah, into uh. everybody. Telekinesis, BKB, Slight of Fist, Searing Chains, that's going to be out of the Rubik. He's going to steal the Remnant, but he's not able to survive. Remnant forward once again. This is a, oh, the spear landing. And I Annihilate, you played with the enemy team and you end up paying for it. They're going to try and get Double King out, but Hook, BKB, Dismember, they will find themselves this Mars with the ulti pop by Monkeys Forever, as well as the BKB, the TP attempt out, and he is free to leave. Okay. Yeah, Leshrac running away. Is he gonna get away from this chase? He goes under vision. Sleep oh, dart no. gets him. Oh no! First hit bash out of the sleep. Ah, uh, that doesn't really matter. If he gets hit once, then he, he is gonna be slowed down by the frenzy, forty percent. So insult no. to injury, though. Yeah, the moment he got under that ward, that was death. But talk about the balls of steel and the ember just jumping in there to everybody. Hook. Duster, oops, Spearland, Sonic. Uh, might not be tanky enough, but he has that Ogre Seal totem to jump away. <laughs> they Gets take out. the Tombstone, 200 gold going for Fart SJ. It's always the tree in the back, and it will be a kill on a Duster. <laughs> tree in the back's fault. Yeah, always. And now for the tier two mid. Honestly, uh, I'm impressed that Sonic hasn't accidentally given away more, uh, more hooks in this game, considering that he's playing on such high ping as well that, you know, eventually maybe a Rubik get, gets a steal on it, but Sanctified, he's just running around with that level four rot, useless as ever. You can't do anything with that as Rubik. Yeah, not fun. I feel like you almost want to stop even trying for the the hook. Yeah. There isn't much it. here that you want in this game anyway, as a Rubik. Yeah, there's a lot of good spells, I would say, this game. Uh, especially in terms of control, gets, though? Yeah, if he gets the shard, then there's potentially something like stealing the dismember would be huge. Okay. That's game winning. Uh, Ember going in again. Ooh, Arena, Spear, Ember again. Dead. Okay. Unleashes a spell that I feel like he needs to remember. Yep, for sure. Double King is just destroying him right now. And now the entire team is scrambling to get out. The chase isn't the best on the side of C-Dub. They don't have that disruptor or, you know, some, some crazy catch. So... Ultimately, Fart Studios can kind of just run away with Invis of Ricky, the speed of Lifestealer, speed of the Windrunner as well. But Annihilate, he's making some YOLO moves right now that are looking a little bit throwy. He didn't really have his team close enough there. Nice two-hero shackle by Monkeys Forever on his Windrunner. But even then, the Ember just goes down. Yeah. And Ember dying means the fight's kind of out of their hands. And speaking of spells that Rubik does want to steal, Searing Chains is definitely one of them. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a decent one to have. I mean, you kind of kind of need to get fairly close, but anything that locks down is useful here. And when Windrunner runs in or something after the BKB is over, useful to have any form of disable. I think the biggest stuff he could steal this game is the sleep dart from Ricky. Yeah. If he gets a chance to get that Rubik with sleep dart, will make Ricky with sleep dart look like nothing. Well, he's forever dying, and every time they use this unleash, it is turning into kills for them. These uh, core kills are massive. Ember dying earlier was like 1,100 gold. This kill, 1,000 gold. These core heroes dying on Fart Studios when you're this far ahead in net worth are very, very pricey. Big bounty for C-Dub. Now they've got the Basher on the Marcy, so that's going to be even more control for them on the side of C-Dub. And they might be able to pull this one back. Like 13k doesn't feel that gone if Double King can survive. The second he's gone, I feel like things get a little bit more difficult. Yeah. They cannot catch the Ricky. They smoked into him, but he just sleep darts and starts running away. They didn't connect with the dust onto him there. Also, FSJ, he's got an Abyssal Blade. We have not seen like this infest bomb yet. He hasn't really done too many infest bombs this game overall. I feel like if he infest bomb into Ionilite when it makes these crazy dives on Ember, then that would kill anything. Um, so really, they just need to meet up and infest into him so they could jump in together. Because these dives, they, they look as though he was bringing a lifestyle with him, but he isn't. Bottom, Ember. Oh boy, again. 
avoiding the stun this time going back to the triangle Roche up in a minute 40 yeah i guess he would have been fine anyway to just a rubik lesh and undying it's not the scariest he would survive the the bursts from those heroes he's got eggs he's got shard let's yeah. see ember is thinking about a hex next item we often see embers in this position go for something like Gleipnir for more control. Hex is another alternative to add some more. I'm I'm really surprised at just the lack of wanting to fight too. I, I guess Roach is kind of soon if you've got the timer in your head, but like Fortis J hasn't exactly been a part of a lot of fights. He just happened to be there in some of these fights, I would say. I mean, he's, yeah, he's one of the very, very farm happy carry players in this Div 2. Um, I mean, he's, when I think about BSJ and how he plays, is mostly just efficiency and farming quickly and like, you know, smooth farming patterns, but doesn't necessarily very often go off the beaten path of farming and join his team to make those moves. He he does want a gold late game. He does want to get all those six items as soon as possible. He actually sells off the Midas there, gets himself a BKB. Hmm. So why are we getting rid of the Midas efficiency though? Yeah, why not backpack it? Keep it, yeah. farm even more. Come on. It should Walk be, it in. right? Exactly. That's not efficient. <laughs> Selling it, you only get half your money back. Yeah, you got a scam, boy. Did not have the receipt ready for that one. There's Roche. Back up. Yeah, and that's a pretty fast Roche again. But the smoke this time is in time, I think. They could get a connection here. This is looking promising for C-Dub, maybe. They just need to go in. Blink Arena would be big. They've got a Remnant now oh, going the other way. Now. Remnant's on the high ground, and Shard's going to be picked up for Monkeys Forever. He's the only one on the team who doesn't have a Shard at this point. And Aegis for Fortis J. Yeah, that's going to be... A big advantage there for Forest J. The Ember shard dealing damage, right, when he throws it out, means that you cannot jump in. And in fact, it starts dealing damage in the AoE the moment you throw it out, not the moment it arrives at the destination that you targeted. So even though you throw oh. it really far away with the Aghanims, uh, the damage over time begins immediately. So Blink Dagger got cancelled. That sounds like my favorite segment bug or intended <laughs> I, I i yeah mm. yeah that's a great question <laughs> uh, like that yes. doesn't feel my, like it should be intended be yes. that is a it, cop out answer it, it a, is a, bug a bee or cop intended. out answer <laughs> hmm. Dota, Dota is the the peak bug and intended <laughs> game i would tower. love to make that a, an actual game show is it a bug <laughs> Or is it intended? <laughs> There's so many of those, too. There are infinite interactions in Dota, pretty much. This is a high ground crack right now, though. BKB, Aegis. Oh, I like this word, but immediately stopped. Well, yeah. that's unfortunate. It, it was, it was good seconds. mindset. Huck, oh, short of Duster. And back onto the high ground for this uh, tier 3 tower. Yeah, they get the tier 3 tower back out, reset a little bit with a smoke use as well here. Yeah, this new shard, thanks to the Roche, Gale Force, and stealing smoke screen. That's not a bad one to steal. Yeah, that's really nice. That's one of the better spells to get, especially when you're playing against Ember Spirit, even against Pudge. You know, after BKB, possibly against Lifestealer, you can shut him down. So this is a spell you could easily hold on to for the entire duration. Question is though, 16,000 gold difference. Are they going to be able to execute this in a nice enough way? Mm. Smoke going mm. around. Refresher BKB on Mars. A lot of weight on Eli's shoulders. And these remnants make it so hard for him to blink in. Yeah, they don't see anyone except for Life Stealer. They want to jump, but everyone else is so far back. The word not catching them. They're right outside the vision. All of them. Here they go. BKB as well as the Spirit's going to be on the eye and eye late. They'll Ember get the kill on the Ember with no buyback. And they've got themselves Lifestealer by himself who will pop the BKB. Needs to find a target to get away in. 
And uh, there's the smoke him. screen down. Marcy was destroying Fartis J, but if he's able to escape, Hook hits on a new show, and now the right clicks come through. They've got the sweep on a duster with the mech being activated. Blink strike mark going to the back lines. They've got the refresher, another arena that's going to be a spear on a new show to get the kill onto the Ricky and take the Aegis out of the hands of this life stealer. So the high ground siege not going well. Shackle shot connects, but it doesn't hit the Marcy. They have the disarm with the Heaven's Halberd that was built by Fartis J. Sonic coming in, looking for the dismember. The right click damage on a double king. They get the kill onto the Marcy. Now he's gone, and he'll be. KB TP out. Gale Force pushing these heroes as well as a shackle shot. Monkeys Forever is going to be able to leave, but that was a costly high ground siege. And they got themselves the range racks. Fantastic. I mean, I said there was a lot of weight on Ela's shoulder, and he delivered right there. He got a nice connection, catching the Ember Spirit, who didn't have a way to rejoin the fight. He didn't go for travels in this game. Uh, so even if he did have buyback, he wouldn't be able to buy back his situation into that. I, I don't know. Maybe he had a remnant on, but, you know, no buyback gold was saved by him committing for the full Scythe of Vice purchase. There we see that jump getting him. And uh, after that, the fight was pretty straightforward. You deleted one of the most farmed heroes in the entire game, and then they just kind of won it by having number superiority. Yeah, that's not exactly the first or second time that he's been caught like that either. Yeah, Annihilate, some of his deaths have been a little bit questionable in this game. This time, though, it wasn't really him going in. He just got jumped, so to his credit, this wasn't really a balls-deep dive or something. See the end of this fight. They do just get double king. Yeah, and that's that was, Monkey's Forever doing a lot of damage there. Yeah, it was a nice turnaround by Forest J and Monkey for turning around, getting double king, and then TPing out and wind running away. So not the biggest loss ever for Fart Studios, but they lost a lot of grounds to it, and they were not able to take the melee racks. And even though sixteen thousand gold disadvantage, C Dub executed a very nice fight. And again, it feels like you know Fart Studios. It, never using this infest bomb like it wasn't used in that fight either yeah still uh, i feel like it's a big tool that they have not a single time attempted even with the agonims and hex on ember spirit and abyssal on life stealer if you jump anyone they, they have abyssal nullifier and hex that person is going to die um but yeah they haven't used any of these nice vehicles i was talking about there we go get in the limousine yeah Ooh, timeless relic Pick that up. Also, finish off the MKB. So buybacks are going to be in a questionable spot for the oh. side of Fart Studios because all they have it is on Sonic. Yeah, the damage increase on Windrunner from last fight, getting Witchbane and getting MKB completed. He hits so hard now. This Windrunner can destroy the Leshrac, especially, who has such a big mana pool. And then I Annihilate was passed over the Spell Prism. So they're going to cut across, maybe find themselves Ewa. And all these heroes are together. They've got a Hex now on Mark. They're sitting under an Obsword by times out. I Annihilate, Hex, Infest, Pop, going forward. They've got the sweep, they'll look for the damage coming in from Monks Forever. He was gonna get the arena down with a spear missing though. They'll take it to the Mars. He doesn't have buyback duster as well as sanctified, looking like they're both gonna drop. They'll go to the rebound. It's not gonna land onto the ember. I annihilate on the back lines, looking to destroy these supports as they've got the hex. It's on to double king. Uh, he gets that BKB off, but the Abyss on the right click to kill. Taking out the Marcy, looking over at Duster. Now Mark trying to fight back. They've got the Hex. It's on to Monkeys forever, as well as Mark using that Nihilism. But with the Hex again, the silence and the damage, it's a full team wipe here for Fart Studios. Yeah, such a clean fight. Having Arcane Rune on the Ember there and getting the, the Mars walking up the ramp right there. Unfortunate timing for Mars. They walked right into the smoke when uh, going up the ramp there. But the Hex with extra duration from Timeless Relic, he just got bursted. And then we saw Ember pop off as he kind of does with the Shard and Agadem's combo. This is looking like it could be Megas. Should be Megas. Yeah, I don't see a way to hold. You still have 55 seconds and 35 seconds on your course. Mega creeps are going up, and I don't think they're going to stop at that either. They could just keep going here. Full HP on Lifestealer and his entire team with him. You can just go and try to close out the game. Of course, seed up. This is a best of one. You have no reason not to try to stay in the game. It's looking dire, though. This Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Okay. Just looking at a uh, sweeping dart activating Rubik's aesthetics cap. Mm, yeah. They're going in now with Double King. 
They have to fight before Lesh. They're going with the BKB. They've got the arena down, but it's not going to be around anybody. They should be able to get the kill on a Sanctify. They'll take the Rubik. They'll look over at Double King. He's trying to right click and get the kill on a FSJ. Here's the second arena. Gale Force making this very difficult to run away from. They have the Sweeping Sonic Duster as well as the Searing Chains to get the kill on a Double King. They'll take the Marcy. Down goes Duster. Double King for I Annihilate. Still looking for more. The Nihilism not popped yet, but Mark moving forward. They've got, well, the help coming through from the Pudge. Dismember to eat him up. Mark now going back towards his throne, but the Sight of Fist, Searing Chains, and the Infest pop. That was three heroes in one. They've got the Hex onto the Lashrak. They should have the damage to get this kill. They've got the Silence. The Gale Force down once again. Mark's going to fall. Silence Shackle doesn't connect to anybody, but the Blink Strike will get the kill out on Eel, and they'll call GG, as it'll be another full team wipe for Fart Studios in the victory in this final tiebreaker. Nice try there, last fight. They did everything they could. Sanctified stealing the Sleeping Dark there on Rubik, trying to keep people locked down, but there's just too much, too many heroes that are waiting.